tastes like Troy Baker. Hey guys, I'll admit, I have a problem. I really enjoy found footage films. I enjoy them far more than I should. Did I like the Paranormal Activity movies? I liked the first two, I thought the rest were shit. Do I still watch movies that are definitely garbage even though they're found footage? I'll, yeah, I'll still, I'll still watch them. I, I watched, there was one called in, uh, Area 407 or something that had dinosaurs terribly rendered. It was an area where people plane crash. Anyways, that was a really bad movie. The one I'm talking about right now is the Phoenix Incident, and really it is a failed idea that was really cool. The whole point of the Phoenix Incident is what happened back in 1997 when those seven lights or whatever were seen above the Phoenix, uh, the city of Phoenix, and people were like, oh, UFOs, dang! What this movie talks about is four guys who disappeared during that time. And I don't know whether to say that's a really ambitious idea, or it's incredibly, incredibly insensitive. <laughs> I haven't really looked into it as much about the four missing people. I do know about the lights, but the whole point of the story is about what happened to these four guys who disappeared during the incident and the cover-up behind the lights and what happened to these guys. So first off, I'll say I don't remember any of the four dudes. The only one who I remember is one of them was Troy Baker. Troy Baker's cool. He's kind of a douchey musician dude in this movie, unfortunately. To be honest, besides Troy Baker, you really will not remember anyone from this film. You won't remember any of the four main characters. They're totally indispensable. They keep on cutting back to the footage of the guys who, for some reason, even though it's 1997, have cameras that are about this small that have widescreen capability. And then another thing that's really stupid about this film is that it starts off with boob tube screen and grainy footage and then slowly throughout the movie the footage gets better and better so it's like okay either way what you'll really be interested in is this mockumentary side of the film that talks about with generals talks with the parents of the situation and shows footage uh, from military sources from jets there's a part where you sexy or flying with the jets that are encountering the invaders that part is really cool that part was interesting. It's then when stuff hits the ground and the four guys hit, get involved that it just turns stupid. It just goes really bar, like bare bones slasher flick, really silly, has absolutely no point to it. It just, I completely didn't care after that point. Once the aliens touch the ground, you just don't give a crap because you're just like, boo, this is really boring again. What you get at the beginning of the film is a very interesting idea of taking a real incident and turning it into a mockumentary. It's kind of like what they did with Devil's Pass, which I really enjoyed and because of what it was talking about. So this film tries to do a similar sort of thing, a little bit more in a mockumentary sort of way as Devil's Pass did, but the fact that it keeps on relating to these four guys is pointless because one, you can spend so little time with them you don't care, and two, they're so generic you don't care about what happens to them. So, Phoenix Incident is an interesting concept. It's not good. It's not memorable. There's one part I will remember from it, which is just this jet fighter scene, which actually I thought was pretty good considering the film's budget. But otherwise, it's a failed opportunity at something that could have been really cool. So in the end, I'm gonna give the Phoenix Incident a 2 out of 7. Honestly, I thought it was a really interesting idea for the first 30 minutes, and then it just turns to poop. Anyway guys, that's the that's all from me. I'll see you guys later.